Ponzi have put a lot of thought into the way their folding bike looks and what sort of people might be attracted by the bike's image and what the brand promises. I kind of like that, it's certainly a fresh way of thinking. Ponzi say their folders are bikes that ride well, fit into our lifestyles and reflect our personalities apostrophe dot so much for the looks. How does it ride? The hinges hold the frame solid and it handles perfectly fine. It's not going to set the world on fire, it's still a small wheeled folder with little forward extension for its stem the 320 has S RAM T3 hub gears. I am all for hub gears, particularly on this type of bike. There's less maintenance, fewer bits exposed that can go wrong, and the chain is further from dirty roads. But 3 speed? It will be fine if you live in the flatlands. I don't. I live in Bath, on top a hill. Even after gearing down to a 39 tooth chairing, the range was inadequate. I got up the hill. It just wasn't pleasant sweating my way to the top in civvies. To be fair, the 920 would have suited me fine, and that's the one I'd have chosen if I were buying a Concy. The three-speed hub has been around for a century and is durable and efficient. SRAM T3 hub gears themselves have a good reputation too Concy haven't compromised the finishing kit. The saddle is very comfortable and the handlebar grips feel nice to the touch. White isn't the best choice. After a couple of months of use the grips aren't so white anymore and the graphics on the saddle are starting to wear off. Overall, the Concy looks good and rides well. I would prefer more emphasis on function than form, mudguards as standard and a 7 or 8 speed hub gear would really improve this bike for me. But if you're after a stylish folder and you don't have hills to worry about, this one's a good bet.